So what you do is you set the egg down on this little piece of plastic and it cradles the egg for you while you are visibly able to see the inside of the egg. What is going on, y'all? It is a nasty, gloomy day today. Just a constant mist and rain. Gonna have some more rain coming today. It's cold outside. Uh, just got through doing the chores in this stuff. And looks like we're gonna have to be stuck inside pretty much, pretty much all day, to be honest with you. And uh, uh, I don't like these days. I really don't like them at all. Yeah. I know, girl, it's, it's so nasty outside. And how are we gonna burn your energy off, hmm? How are we gonna do it? How are we gonna do it? <laughs> I got an idea. What you think, Lolo? <laughs> Come on, bring it to me. We gotta get some of the energy burnt off. Yeah, we gotta get some of it burnt off, don't we? Yeah, it's just too, too rainy and nasty outside, right? Yeah. Yeah. Goodness. Goodness. That's right. That's right. <laughs> what you think, buddy? What you think, buddy? Huh? What y'all think? Huh? Huh? You ready? Go get it. Go get it. Arlo's not a, Arlo's not a fetcher. No. Holly, on the other hand, Holly is. <laughs> Arlo's not. You ready? <laughs> Gotta burn that energy off, don't we, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we gotta do. Goodness. Brooke reached out to uh, Miss Bobby Porto, who is the uh, hatchery or the silky breeder that sent us some sent us those silky eggs that we got in the incubator over there in our uh, closet. Well, Brooke reached out to her about candling because, you know, we used to candle and then we were told we shouldn't candle them. And so we stopped candling them and she told Brooke that it was perfectly fine to candle the eggs and told us how, and this is, this is what she said. Okay, so you contacted Miss Bobby Porto, yes, who is a show quality silky breeder, and she told you we could actually candle the eggs, and told you how she does it. Well, you know it's varying opinions on if you should open the incubator, if you should not. So I asked her what her opinion was, and I'm going to read you what she says. And you do have to open the incubator to add water, but that's fairly quick. Yes. Okay. So she says that she candles them, it brings the humidity and the temperature right back up when you shut the door. The hen gets up and goes to eat and drink and does it fast. So if you can catch any eggs that may be bad, yeah, this will be a good thing. This case is probably not gonna happen. There's not gonna be any bad eggs, but you never know. I mean, anything can happen. And if there's a bad egg and it explodes in that incubator, yes. you will never get the smell nor the thought out of your mind. Plus it being in our closet. Yes. That um, a, a rotten exploded egg, even though it's encased in an incubator, would not be good. She also mm -hmm. said that candling them saves you disappointment later on hatch day. Right. Because you, you, you can take the ones out that you know are not fertile or that have problems, and you won't be expecting those to hatch. Right. So we're gonna candle the eggs. And another reason I wanna candle them is I need to know if I need to add on to my little playhouse coop. <laughs> yeah. If we got 28 eggs that look like they're gonna hatch, yeah. we need a two-story coop. So I've got my little, uh, I don't know, how do you say this? I'll let you say it. Brincia? Brincia. Brincia is how I used to say it, Brincia, but I don't think that's correct. Brincia. So this is an egg candling lamp that is so much easier than trying to hold the egg and hold the flashlight. Or your cell phone. So what you do is you set the egg down on this little piece of plastic and it cradles the egg for you while you are visibly able to see the inside of the egg. And we'll show you what right. we're looking for. All right. So 
here we go with candling some silky eggs. That's right. All right, into the closet we go. All right, so it's 28 eggs, right? 28 eggs. All right, and let me get the uh, turner in the right spot. And today is day seven. Kept going for a minute there, but I think we should be fine getting them out. that right back and here we go 28 eggs so let's let's get it done all right that one's good too see all the veins in it y'all right there so that one's fertile that one looks good and there's the air sac at the bottom and oh it looks like eyes maybe trying to form maybe i don't know it's awful early though all right here we go that one's not good, so set it off to the side or give it to mom. All right, so this one right here looks pretty good, don't it, Brooke? I think so. See, y'all can see the veins in it right there, and you can see it's just forming a, a, a chicken. <laughs> Put that one on the good rack, and I'll go back to a bad one. Okay. All right, so this one is not fertile, and you guys can see how it's just plain. There's nothing going on in this one, so this, this egg isn't fertile. And uh, so that's the difference between the two. And there's no need to continue to incubate it. Right. If you know it's not going to develop. Correct. All right. So that one is, I'm thinking, I know. Uh, what you think? I don't know. That's a, I don't know. Sometimes you get those. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to put it on the <laughs> good one for now. Definitely yeah. fertile. Definitely fertile. I mean, you can see, really see some veins in this one. Definitely, definitely fertile. And that's a definite no. That's a definite yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's a yes. Oh, look at the veins. Look at the veins in this one. It's almost them. like it's starting to develop a little bit yeah. faster than the look rest of them. Look at that. Let me turn it around and look at that. You see the... Oh, yeah. That's probably its eye is what I'm thinking, but I may be wrong. But that's what I'm going to say it is anyways. That's fertile, too. Look at there. All right. That's fertile. Good deal. So fascinating. That is... That's an iffy. That's an iffy. I can see some veins trying to form. Look, see the veins yeah, right there? So yeah, we're gonna yeah, leave yeah, her yeah, in yeah, there yeah, and yeah, yeah. Just. And we're regrouping seven days. We know it's not gonna explode, so there's yeah. no chance of that one. That one's, one's fertile. fertile. This one's a big one, but and it's, it's not, not fertile. fertile. All right, just a few left, and we kind of need to, to nope. move along. No good. And it happens. I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that one's really fertile. Look at that. <laughs> wow. All right. I don't. What do you think? I'm thinking no. Because I'm thinking there's no. Not, I mean, I there should it. be veins yeah, right now. Yeah, I'm thinking no. And that's yes. a yes. All right. We All need right. to get these back in there as okay. soon, quick as possible. Got gotcha. you. How many did we have that wasn't fertile? Well, we're going to say how many are fertile. Okay, how many are fertile? We like the positive aspect Absolutely. of things. Absolutely. 19 are fertile. Great. So, these nine are not going to hatch. But I'm thinking if we have 19 silkies to hatch, yeah. we may need an additional coop. <laughs> we'll see what happens. 
but we know that we have time because first of all, they have to hatch. Yes. Second of all, something's gonna hatch. They're yes. not all gonna hatch. They're probably not all gonna hatch. They're probably not all gonna hatch. So out of 19, I would expect at least nine or 10 to hatch. And if half of those are roosters. Well, we may have to build a rooster coop. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But in the meantime, we have put the playhouse in the garage. Yes. And today, since it's gloomy outside. It's nasty weather and it's a little chilly out. It is that um, we could get started on transforming it into their That's chicken right. coop. What, what better time to do it when it's nasty outside? Right. You're anticipating chicks to hatch. That's right. They gotta have somewhere to live. Gotta have somewhere to live. Now they will not hatch and go immediately to the house. They will go to a brooder. Yeah. Which they will have heat and uh, be allowed to eat all they want, all they want to drink, and grow until it's ample time for them to be outside. Right. Temperature should be perfect by the time they're grown up. And right. Ready to move outside. I agree. Springtime. All right, so we still got ducks in the pond. Uh, some have came back, but the majority of them, the majority of them are staying down here. And the Egyptian goose, or the Egyptian geese, you can hear it. Uh, they're staying down here a lot too. Gonna give you just a quick recap on what we're doing with the silky and the silky eggs we're trying to hatch and the new coop we're gonna put out here behind the house in the potager garden. Now back here behind the house, as most of y'all know, but if you don't, we're gonna build a potager garden, which is a French kitchen garden. And what I'm wanting to do is, is to put the chicken coop, the silky coop, and silky run kind of in this area over here and it'll just tie all in once we get the uh potage garden built but first we got to hatch some eggs and we got to get the coop and if you don't remember we are turning a kid's playhouse a victorian style playhouse which i thought would look fabulous for a small chicken coop for bantam chickens because these silkies are bantams and if you don't know what a bantam is that is a miniature chicken pretty much is what that is so we're taking a child's playhouse and we're going to convert it into a chicken coop or at least that's our plan <music> all right if you haven't seen it here is our cute little uh victorian style playhouse it's going to be a silky coop at some point and the color we decided to go with is white <laughs> after tossing it around and trying to figure out you just can't beat classic white with black trim with black trim it'll match the uh barnuminium it uh it'll just i just love the classic look the windows were kind of that aged plastic look yeah and it had some uh discoloration in it that wasn't mm -hmm. going to come out unless i painted it so i decided to paint these black instead of leaving them white because more than likely the white's going to have that happen again whereas the black won't no so. it won't so i'm going to get started by painting the body first yeah which is and then this this is the trim that'll come last which will be black i still don't know about the roof I think the roof's going to be black, too. I really do. We shall see. Step number one. And after we do that, then we'll probably start working on maybe put hardware cloth on the inside. Oh, you definitely. Reckon? Yeah, that's looking cute, though. Looking to look cute, 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 cute.
So we just about got it painted. There's just a little touch up left, don't you think? Oh yeah, I think for the most part we're, we're finished. I mean, I see a couple of spots, but we can do that outside. Right. Once it gets in its place, because you know as well as I do, once we move it, it's going to need a touch up anyway. Right. So I think we're done for what needs to be calling it complete as far as paint goes. I do like the way it turned out. I like the black and the white. Very classic. It looks awesome. The door I'm going to put on there. I'm thinking about painting it a color, but I don't know what yet. I'm going to have to start doing some looking around and see what I can come up with with a color for the door. It may be brown. I don't know. I'm going to try to figure that out and see what I want to do for the door. Now, there's two things we're going to do on here. Um, we're going to make this solid on both sides and... The idea we come up with is just to make some fake shutters and look like the shutters are closed on the house. And that's what we're going to do on both sides because they don't need this open area at all, to be honest with you. And that can be where our roost is, our nesting box is in there. And that way it'll give us more space for the chickens because they'll have a big open front. They got two windows in the front. Of course, they got this big window in the back. So we should be fine there. And I think we'll make it come out into a run. Let them go in and out as they please. I agree. I'm, we'll probably do maybe an automatic chicken door on it somewhere yeah, as well. Like, What's that? I Dutch like, door? No. Oh. I like the color of the natural wood. Do you? Do. Maybe with a clear on it. Yeah. For I mean, it won't be this exact door, but right. that's the idea. I got you. Two of those uh -huh. on each side. Yeah. I, I, I just like the natural look okay. of the wood, but we'll see once we get okay. it. Okay. Yeah. I don't think we'll do that part till we get outside. I agree. I think you're right. But I think it looks good. It looks good. Other thing is, is we're going to build it up off the ground, too. It's not going to be flat on the ground. I don't know how high up we're going to go with it. A foot, maybe. I, I don't know. Two foot. But it is going to be up off the ground. It won't sit flat like this. I think we'll look at our area and see yeah. what works out best. And kind of go from there. But you can... Hear the rain outside, yeah, it's and nasty. I'm thankful to have this garage that we can work in on a rainy day. <laughs> we the needed project's it. Project's completed. It is completed. Wow, I can't believe we got it done. To be honest with you, I thought it was going to be a lot worse than what it was, but it wasn't. It was a project, that's for sure. Yeah. But look at how much better it looks. Oh gosh, it looks it looks brand new. It looks. I mean, it it, it doesn't look like a playhouse anymore. I see it as a chicken coop. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I, I think agree. it's because those those childish looking colors are gone and yeah. it's more sophisticated looking. Which silkies are sophisticated birds. That's so. right. It's probably the most sophisticated chicken. Them in a Polish. What do you think? Yeah. So it's 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 perfect. I'm even thinking hanging basket on yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> hanging basket. Um, oh. and I even thought about if we wanted to we could come back and put the little can spray paint these black. Yeah. These were on there. Right. But that's what the white looked like before I spray painted it. Was it. That will not that. come yeah, off. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I mean, that's just made on there. Putting them back on there and putting a little pot in there. Yeah, we can do I'm that. I'm not going to do away with these. Yeah. I we'll agree. See. We got big plans. We do got big plans. Or maybe even better than those because they'll dry out so fast. Uh huh. Once we get the shutters up, we could build a flower box on the side over here. Well, let me let me bring something. It's okay. It's going to take me a second. To okay. Do that. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. So, what she got, Holly? Holly, you are wet. <laughs> so I'm back. Yeah. And when we built our house, yeah. we had a couple of things that we didn't, we ordered and we didn't like. Right. So we saved it for future use. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking that how cute Ooh, would wow, that be right bro. there? Yeah. And they could have a little light. And you know what? This one, if I'm, yeah, see, it's got a, a photo sensor on it. Awesome. So that means it's a dust to dawn light, so we can set it up that when get back, baby. I don't want you getting into paint. When hey, uh, Holly. when uh, when it gets dark, it'll come on. Isn't that cute? Though? Yeah. Doesn't look too big at all, does it? It doesn't look too big at all. I think that's just perfect. It is perfect. Perfect color too. And I had set it on the porch because I thought we might use it somewhere in our barn. Bin. Yeah. But I think it'll be perfect for I using agree. it right now. I think it's perfect. Now they just need an address. <laughs> and a mailbox. Oh, me. Yeah. They, well, they got to have somewhere to get their mail. That's right. We'll have it fixed up. I think a little mailbox off to the side would be cute. It would be cute. It really would be cute. I it's love it. It's going to be Silky City. 
Silky City. <laughs> I love it. Now it's time to clean up. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness.